The flags of 34 countries of the British Commonwealth of Nations proudly flew at Kingston on the royal opening of the 8th British and Empire Commonwealth Games. In the ladies' high jump, Thelma Hopkins from Northern Ireland. He established a record for the Commonwealth Games. Days of the Bonus Army camping on Washington's doorstep, demanding decent treatment. Decent treatment meaning a living wage instead of an existence. London. The Victoria Palace was bulging at the seams. Mighty men of muscle from many countries flexed, tensed and bulged biceps in a bid to become Mr. Universe. The choice was an American as amateur Mr. Universe and an Austrian as the professional. The Nazis staged great parades to celebrate their overwhelming victory in the election. Thus, Hitler has at last succeeded in lying and tricking his way into power. The motor man braced itself for what was bound to be a simultaneous operation with that in Derry. At about three o'clock, convoys of heavy armoured bulldozers began to rumble across the city towards both Protestant and Catholic no-go areas. The director of the FBI knew about it, the Attorney General, and it was in Washington, D.C. I don't see how come the President of the United States didn't know anything about it. I think Nixon should resign and save his family and the country the embarrassment, that's all. The Asians have kept themselves apart as a closed community. Their main interest has been to exploit the economy of Uganda and uh, Ugandan Africans. Edinburgh stages Scotland's first international music and drama festival. Edinburgh's aim is to be the Salzburg of the post-war world, the new world centre for all art lovers. No racial trouble in Jamaica, whom Britain steered to independence. Princess Margaret represented the Queen, and the country became a free and full member of the Commonwealth. These further pictures of the Great Allied Offensive show the actual opening of the sea, land and air battle which swept the Jap forces of occupation out of Guadalcanar and Tulagi. <laughs>